Ink Ribbon. So, I know a lot of you watching are gamers, and there's probably a good chance that you want to eventually make your own games, which is why today I am covering this game engine on my video. It is probably the easiest game engine I have ever used in my life. Doesn't require coding, doesn't require art. Everything you see here, I made this level in like, I don't know, 30 minutes? Look at that, I got keys, I got a gun. You, you just drag and drop literally everything. It's so easy. Oh my god. Now, this video is sponsored by Game Guru Max, which is what this engine is called. However, I'm the one who reached out to them, and also, I'm not being paid for this. I just got a copy of the software to review and go over, and I just want to show you guys literally how easy this engine is if you want to make your own games, because, I mean, a child could do this. <laughs> I'm, I'm not even joking. So, let me just show you. So, uh, let's create a new game project. We'll call it... Uh, Inky boy Whatever so you got this is already set up so your splash screen will lead to your title screen your about screen and Then your loading screen will lead to your level and this is where you can create your level and when you win it Goes to your game over screen or it can go to level two or whatever and yeah so let's click here and Check check this out. So you've got this huge area that you can do and you can um, change the size make it bigger smaller and you can also change the landscape so you've got plains you've got a canyon you've got desert forest um, you can just do nothing if you want to completely make your own game from scratch uh, we're gonna go ahead and do a little a little desert map um, just make it small blah 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 time of day we can edit all that later so we just Click generate, we'll say Nevada. Tomb Raider 3 vibes, why not? Sure, okay. Boom, look at that. And literally in this, if we hit test play, look, we're already in a game. We're already running around and if there was guns to pick up, I could pick them up and start shooting these cactuses. Now, it's snowing. That's not really what we want, but here's the cool thing, you can change the weather, so you know, right now it's snowing, let's change it to, I don't know, raining in the desert. You can turn up the intensity, you can turn it off, you can change the the fog, so you could do like a uh, an undisclosed horror game that shall not be mentioned. Um, or you could just, you know, make it sunny. But, I mean, you guys, you get the idea. You can also uh, change the time of day. Uh, so this is the skybox, which is just a texture but it also has a simulated sky, which is really cool. Um, hold on, let me change the time of day because now it looks like I'm the end of the world. So instead of dusk, we'll set it to, I don't know, not midday, afternoon. All right, we'll turn the sun down. Now here's the cool thing, and the reason I'm showing the terrain is because if you've worked with any game engine, you know how much of a pain in the ass it can be. This has everything automatically generated, so I'm going to just dig into the ground. So here we can adjust the water height and just raise that up. And now anywhere on the level that you dig will automatically hit water. And it's just, it's got some amazing landscape tools that I wish other engines had that are just, it's so easy to use. And let's say you want some foliage, so you click here. It's already got desert biome foliage selected, so literally you can just, you can do that or you can like paint a group. Um, you can also do texture painting, so like if you want a, a path, like let's say this rock path, um, you know, to tell the player where to go, just do 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 do, lead around paint some cacti to kind of decorate the path and lead around so yeah you you guys get the landscaping tools it's all set up it's all good to go now let me show you the fun stuff so let's see our player is starting over here let's um, this is all the stuff that already comes with the engine and they're 
probably going to add more. Um, I should mention also this engine is in early access, so it's still being worked on, but I mean, uh, this is actually the second version of an engine. There is the original Game Guru uh, engine, if you want to check it out. Just know that it's a little outdated, but it still works just fine. So we got Desert Collection. So we got these these big cliff rocks that you can position and um, rotate. So you have kind of like your your path that you can build. And if you shift and click, so you can you can see like I mean it's. Look at how easy that is. Just boom, 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 boom. And once you get into the flow of it, it's really, really fun. Okay, so you get the idea there. And then let's say you want to add, I don't know, some weapons. Um, you can also favorite items, which I favorited all the weapons for easy access. So I'm going to put a, a gun right there. And we'll throw in some bullets. And you can also add your own assets. You don't have to use the ones that come with the engine. And let's add a, a character. Let's uh, let's put a desert zombie. Who looks like a desert zombie? This looks like a desert zombie. And down here we've got the behavior. So this zombie's already set to attack. Uh, if you wanted to, you can change the zombie to be your ally so that they'll help you. You can put uh, characters that are your, your ally on the map and they will fight your enemies. There's, there's so much you could do. So just doing that, let's go ahead and test play. So you walk over, pick up your gun. Die, zombie, die, there you go. And look, we got this environment set up. We're in the, the big, vast desert. And it's just like, it's crazy what you can do. I mean, what, that took me two minutes to set up all of this? Imagine what you could do in an hour. If you've got kids um, who are, you know, interested in game development, but obviously coding and 3D art and all that's a little too much to throw at them at once, this is a great way to start. Because uh, there aren't a lot of 3D engines that let you do stuff like this. And um, I, the only one I can think of that is this easy to use out of the box is something like RPG Maker. But if you've ever played RPG Maker, you know it's very simple 2D sprites and there's only so much you can do. Speaking of RPG Maker, if you're looking at this and thinking, oh, first person game, mm, I don't know if I wanna make a first person game. Uh, you don't have to do a first person shooter forever because if you look up here, RPG games are coming and puzzle games are coming. So they've got other templates that they're working on. This this is not a big corporation making this engine. This is like a, a small team that's really passionate and wants people to be able to make games, which is another reason I reached out to them because I support that. And as you guys saw, this requires absolute, I haven't done any programming, I haven't done any art. And I mean, these assets are nice. It all works and flows great. And you've got all this stuff to choose from. So let's see. Um, yeah, so all of all of this flora and fauna, but then you've also got animals. So like, uh, let me if I just search up here. Animal, yeah. So you got birds, you got fish, you got rats. So like, let's. Uh, are there foxes in the desert? We'll just we'll put a fox down right here. And if you look. Mammal generic, he's already got behavior set in. Now just for fun, let's add another character. And this character will be, uh, we'll do her, but we're gonna make her an ally, which means she will fight the zombie for us. So, uh, and we can also change her weapon. We'll give her, we'll give her a shotgun. Now let's just, let's see what happens. Hey, you. Oh, you scared the fox. Okay. <laughs> 
so there there you go like there's there's a lot that you can do there's also like keys to doors um so you can you know go find the key to unlock the door and do all that stuff and that's super easy to do i mean look at look at all this stuff explosive barrels buttons switches campfires like like check out this like you can do so you put down a campfire and then down here you've got particles so you you drag a particle over it what do you want the particle to be uh let's smoke like let's say like the fire is going out so now in game you'll have a little dying campfire that's got some cool smoke or you can have a lit campfire that's actually on fire so the level that you're seeing behind me that's being built right now uh, was one that I did when I was learning how to use this so I could demonstrate it for you guys. And if you want to try out the level that I'm building behind me, I just called it Ice Islands because that sounded cool. But I will be putting that on my desktop. That is a standalone uh, game that you can just quickly pick up and, you know, if you want to try it out for yourself. Uh, yeah, Game Guru Max. Uh, it just came out on the 25th, which was yesterday as of recording right now so I just the reason that I, I made this video is because I know that there's a lot of aspiring game devs out there and I also know that programming is scary I can't program to save my life I have to rely on visual scripting and even that is a whole thing you have to learn something like this is just so easy and relaxing almost to like make little games that you can play and stuff like that but I highly recommend that you check it out one last thing I also want to mention is it does have a character creator. So you can actually make your own characters. Um, yeah, so you've got adult male, female, you got zombies, and you can go in here and, you know, really do quite a bit of customization so that characters can look different. Different hair, different clothes. And as you can see, these, these assets are pretty good. This isn't like, you know anything cheap or generic looking which is really nice because that usually ends up being the case a lot of times so I highly encourage you guys to check out this engine because I just can't get over how amazing it is that's again why I reached out to them and thank you to the people at Game Guru Max for I guess this is a sponsorship I don't know but um, yeah uh, get out there and, and make some games. If you know of any other non-code engines like this, I'd love to know about them because I'm trying to compile a list of them. And I also have a tutorial channel where I'm going to be showing how to do a couple things that um, aren't as intuitive as they could be yet. But again, um, in case it's not obvious, this still is in early access, so they're working on it. But uh, on my tutorial channel, Ink Ribbon Tutorials, which is linked somewhere down below on my channel, you can find it. You're smart. Um, you can check those out there. But I would love to know what you guys think of this engine. Uh, so let me know in the comments. But I'm going to go ahead and end this video here. I hope you all have a great day. And uh, until next time, I'm Kai Morgan. And as always, thanks for watching Ink Ribbon.